Hey guys, it's it's Bethany Lemley. Um, this is pre-recorded video. It's pre-recorded. Um, I got my camera lenses covered up for safety reasons, and I just want to let everyone know the staff, Sarah, at the gathering place. Um, sh me and several others can tell you she's very jealous over me. Um, even one of my bosses said that Sarah from the gathering place is very jealous over me. Um, David said it too. And as a reminder, I already had his permission to use his name in my videos. Um, but guys, just... Let's put it this way. She's jealous over me. She wants to sleep with my friend. Um. And everything. From the recovery house. And she wants to also sleep with my foster brother. And she would never admit it. Um. And it's against the rules for a staff member to be sleeping with a member or a person at the recovery house. On April 23rd-ish. Um, maybe a couple days before, maybe a couple days after. I can't exactly remember the date. I was talking to my friend Marwin and everything. And she got so angry. She got so jealous over me. And she gave me that look. That look of resentment. That look of jealousy. Because he was spending time with me. And she got jealous about it. Same with my foster brother. And I'm not the only one who said Sarah is jealous over me. There was literally 10, 15 more people. 10 to 15 more people saying she is jealous over me. That's why she's trying to get me kicked out of the gathering place. That's why she won't admit what she does to instigate me. To make me act the way I do sometimes. She instigates it. She provokes it. Out of jealousy. She doesn't want Marin know or my foster brother know how she really is. And she's just so mean and hateful and narcissist. And I'm not the only one who says that about her. I mean, she threatened to say, well, she came to get me kicked out of the gathering place, guys. Yes, a staff member there said she would do whatever she can to get me kicked out of the gathering place. She is dead out jealous over me. And I'm not going to sit there and take that abuse because I want my side of things come out in the open about it um of course the staff is going to stick up for another staff member although they did not witness anything that's how the police are that's how the courts are that's how the CPS workers are that's how any type of authority who has power is so yes, this staff member is very jealous over me and she's trying to keep me and my foster brother apart and she's trying to keep me and my friend apart because she's jealous that my friend Maura and I spent a lot of time together that last time I was up there getting to know each other and she did not like it. She acted out of hate and malice, out of jealousy. Again, this video is pre-recorded. And I'm not going to sit there and let people think I'm the one that's causing problems when I'm not. I mean, they ready threatened to get me kicked out of the gathering place just because she doesn't like me. She puts a nice good front on, though, if you're upset. She puts a hell of a fucking front on if, she's, if she knows you're upset. But as soon as you're doing good, she starts the instigation again to set you off. Because she's trying to get me and a few others kicked out of the gathering place. So people won't know that she wants to sleep with Marin and my foster brother. Which is against company policy. So yes. I want my side of the story to come out. Because she did not tell the staff how she treated me. What she did to instigate and provoke me. She only tell how I acted and playing victim as a narcissist does. So yes, she's doing this out of jealousy. 
just because she doesn't like that me and Maren was talking and hanging out the whole time up there. Same thing with my foster brother. She didn't like that neither. So yes, it's jealousy. My bosses, David, and several others say she's acting like that. She had to get me kicked out out of jealousy. So she can uh, turn everybody up there at the gathering place against me, including the staff. So yes, this is what is really happening. And again, this is a pre-recorded message that I recorded um, after I was released from OHP on May 1st or 2nd.